A group of teens in Fremont have been hanging out in their parents' garage for months. But they're not starting a band. Ann Makovic shows us that they are starting their careers in engineering. Eight teenagers designed and built this robot in a garage in Fremont. It's always nice to see the robot doing what we uh, want it to do. A variety of simple tasks, and someday it will do so on a competitive stage, the first tech challenge. To get it to where it is right now, it would take about three or four months of solid building and even now we're tinkering a little bit. They've spent about 10 hours a week in this garage as a team, not for class credit, but a passion for engineering. Robotics allows me to work on what, uh, something that interests me, programming and engineering outside of school. She's one of two girls on the team of eight. I think um, having girls also could keep the boys in line. They're also spreading their passion for engineering, teaching other kids about robotics at local schools. And the robots are teaching them right back. It really helps me when I'm dealing with like maybe science or if I'm doing physics or math classes and stuff like that. I can apply those same concepts when I'm doing robotics here. Skills that will help them in future careers and hopefully in Sunday's competition. It's very beautiful in my eyes. I'm very proud of the team. In Fremont, Ann Magovic, KPIX 5. Boy, it's refreshing to see kids do that. And then the students are competing for a spot on the world championships and to qualify for a share of the $13 million in scholarship money. For more information about the First Tech Challenge, go to KPIX.com and click on links and numbers.